Thanks for listening to the 39th Street Church Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Living on the Narrow Way Demands We Look for It. Well, I'm waiting here in line at this place. And my daughter made me a, an appointment and uh, never been here before, so I had to make sure that I didn't disappoint her. Don't want your baby girl mad at you. But anyway, I had to, uh, had to find it. And so what I did is I, I put in the GPS where I wanted to go, and then it, uh, it gave me instructions, and I followed it. And here I am. I found it. And, you know, that's, uh, that's a good thing. But, you know, yesterday we talked about the broad way and the narrow way and, of course, emphasized we want to be on the narrow way that leads to eternal life. But the sad thing is many enter into the broad way. And the reason that that is, he says, the narrow way, he says, few there be that find it. Now, it's frightening to think few. I don't know the number, but don't want to be in any other number but that few. And the key word is find. Our society, they want to just blunder around, unless it's something, you know, like going to get ice cream or going to the store, then they'll follow the instructions, they'll find it. But whenever it comes to spiritual matters, it seems people are kind of lackadaisical. And the reality is, though, if we're going to enter in and continue on that narrow way, we've got to find it. Now, just like the GPS, it gives instructions. God gives us instructions. If I went on that narrow way, I find in John 14 and verse 6, there Thomas had uh, been comforted by others in uh, seeking to have the assurance that they could go to be with Jesus. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You know, whenever you look at that, Matthew, the 28th chapter, in verse 18 through 20, the Lord said that we're to observe all things whatsoever he has commanded. So we know that his way is that which is given in the word, given in the scriptures. And so we look at that, and if we're going to enter into that narrow way, we've got to have a determination, number one, of the importance. Remember, there's only two ways. And then a desire to seek Jesus, his way, and do it on his terms. Now, there are people who simply say, all you got to do is say, Lord, Lord. Well, Jesus never said that. Matter of fact, in the book of Matthew, in the seventh chapter, after talking about the two ways that one leads to eternal life and one to destruction, he said in verse 21 and following that there are those who in that day will say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to tell them to depart. You know why? He said they don't do the will of the Father which is in heaven. You see, this world doesn't like having to find something, having to look, having to do. But Jesus made it very plain that that's the way. You know, you look and you could examine each aspect of it. You know, John 8 and verse 12, you got to believe that he is. And based upon that belief, Jesus said in Luke 13 and verse 3, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. Matthew 10, 32 and 33, he said, you confess him before others. Mark 16 and 16, he said, be baptized to be saved. And you know, it's then that we're added to the church, according to Acts, the second chapter and verse 38 through 47. Now, a lot of people say, well, I don't like that. I don't believe that. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're really looking to find the narrow way, why not be noble and search the scriptures, whether these things are so, Acts 17 and verse 11. A lot of things are said, a lot of things are done in today's religious world, but sadly, the vast majority of them lead to the broad way that leads to destruction. I pray that you'll determine to enter in to that narrow way and to continue on it. But in order to do it, you've got to determine to find it. It's got to be a desire that's fulfilled as if you're seeking something that's precious. You want to be there. Do you want to go to heaven? I pray that you'll have a good day with the thought in your mind that that's where you're going, that you're going on the narrow way that leads there. Thank you for listening. Be sure and tune in tomorrow and we'll talk a little bit about having to go against the crowd. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. 
More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.